Will the players please line up on their respective goal lines?
Players, please line up on your goal lines. Thank you. Good evening and welcome to the home of the Huskies for over four decades. The name's right above the suites, the John McGinnis Student Ice Arena. And tonight's 100-year alumni hockey game featuring your Michigan Tech Huskies. Tonight we will be playing two 25-minute periods. And now, let's meet and greet the players for both teams. First for the Huskies in the 100-year cream-colored jerseys. Wearing number two from Carstairs, Alberta. He played from 1978 through 1982. The Cowboy, Tony Styles. <laughs> Number four, Hancock's very own, who played from 1993 through 97, Jeff Mickish. <laughs> Wearing number five, a defenseman who played from 1990 through 1994, hailing from Lloydminster, Alberta, Jeff Hill. This next player played in the 1951 through 54 season. From Portage Entry, number six, Paul Tormala. Next, we have a forward who played from 2011 through 2015. He hails from Hancock and plays for the Dallas Stars, number 10. Tanner Carroll. <laughs> Wearing number 13, a forward from Maple, Ontario, who played from 1991 through 94. Welcome, Justin Pekka. <laughs> from across the lake in Thunder Bay, he played from 1993 through 1997, a forward, number 15, Kyle Peterson. A forward from Hancock, who played from 1989 through 92. Number 16, Mike Hosworth. From Thunder Bay, Ontario, he played from 1991 through 1995. A forward who also played in the National Hockey League with Tampa Bay, number 17, Brent Peterson. <laughs> Next, we have a defenseman from Eden Prairie, Minnesota, who played from 1993 through 97, number 18, Eric Jensen. This forward played from 1965 through 68. From Windsor, Ontario, number 20, Fred Hall. This defenseman played from 2008 through 2011. From Blaine, Minnesota, the Giant, number 21, Ricky Doriot. Next, we have number 25. He's from Houghton, played from 2016 through 2020. A speedy forward, playing in Kalamazoo now, number 25, Ray Bryce. Next, from Wald Lake, Michigan, a goaltender who played from 1973 through 74, number 30, Bob Mehaus. Number 31 is a goalie from Scarborough, Ontario. Played from 1990 through 1994 and enjoyed a career in the National Hockey League. Number 31, Jamie Ram. And a defenseman from Brantford, Ontario, 
who played from 1983 through 87. Number 13, Randy Oswald. And hailing from Finland, wearing number 26, Becca Sanakari. And now, here's the lineup for the Huskies in the black uniforms. Wearing number two from Woodbury, Minnesota, he played from 1993 through 96, Brian Hunter! From Burlington, Ontario, a defenseman who played from 1972 through 1976. He was a stalwart on the blue line, number four, Jim Murray! Another defenseman from Calgary, Alberta. He played from 1994 through 1997. Number five, Travis Van Tegum. A defenseman from Eagle River, Wisconsin, who played from 1973 through 1978. Number six, Joey Sparks. Next, from Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, he dazzled the crowds here at the Student Ice Arena from 1972 through 1976. The all-time leader in points, goals, and assists, played with the St. Louis Blues, number seven, Mike Zook. From Kelowna, British Columbia, a forward who played from 2004 through 2008. And an assistant coach with the Huskies, number eight, Tyler Shalast. From Rochester, Michigan, he played on the Huskies forward line from 1976 through 1980. He was the MVP of Winter Carnival. Number nine, Roger Moy. From Scarborough, Ontario, he played from 1980 through 1984. He had a knack for scoring the speedy number 15, Bill Terry. From Little Falls, Minnesota, from 2008 through 2013, he played number 17, Michael Lichtig. From Kirkland, Quebec, he played from 1984 through 1988 for the Huskies, went on to an illustrious career in the National Hockey League, including getting his name on the Stanley Cup. Number 23, Randy McKay. From Thunder Bay, Ontario, he played from 1992 through 96. A talented defenseman, number 28, Jason Wright. In goal for the black team tonight, from Caledonia, Ontario, he played from 2012 through 2016 and has been an assistant coach with the Huskies, number 31, Jamie Phillips. And another goaltender from Calgary, Alberta, he played from 1978 through 1982. He wears number 35, Darcy, the puck stops here, way! Our off-ice officials for tonight's game are Dorothy and Jay Rohanen, and Mike and Ryan Jermu. The on-ice officials are Jimmy Pietala and Carson Stevens. If you're ready, let's play Huskies Hockey!
Black team goal scored by number 28, Jason Wright. Assisted by number eight, Tyler Shalast. Time of the goal, four minutes and five seconds. Right from Shalast. Cream Team Goal, scored by number 10, Tanner Kell. Assisted by number 16, Mike Hosworth. Time of the goal, 4.45. Kell from Hosworth at 4.45. Scoring for the cream team, number 18, Eric Jensen, unassisted at 520. Fans, a reminder that early bird season tickets are on sale until August 15th. Stop into the SDC Central Ticket Office or visit buyhuskiestickets.com 
to reserve your seats today. Early bird pricing ends on August 15th. Your attention please, now in goal for the cream team, number 30, Bob Mehaus. Also a couple of program notes, please, on your black uniforms, Bill Terry is wearing number two, and also black number 15 is Ray Bryce. The cream goal, his second of the night, scored by number 10, Tanner Carroll.
Time of the goal, 14 minutes, 32 seconds. Tanner Carroll, his second of the night. Scoring for the cream team, his second goal tonight, number 18, Eric Jensen. Assisted by number 15, Kyle Peterson. Time of the goal, 16 minutes. Jensen, his second from Peterson, Kyle Peterson, at the 16 minute mark. Cream team goal scored by number 16, Mike Hosworth. Assisted by number 18, Eric Jensen. Time of the goal, 16 minutes, 11 seconds. That's Hosworth from Jensen at 16-11. Black team goal scored by number nine, Roger Moy. Assisted by number 17, Michael Lichtig. Time of the goal, 17 minutes, 43 seconds. Moy from Lichtig at 17.43. Scoring for the black team, number 17, Michael Lichtig. Unassisted, time of the goal, 18 minutes, 46 seconds. Lichtig unassisted at 18.46.
Penalty shot attempt by number 15, Ray Bryce. Stopped in the goal. Fans, check out Rail 555, our premium seating location on the concourse. The number 555 is in honor of the wins accumulated by John McInnes as coach of the Huskies. Stop by the central ticket office for pricing options. Cream team goal, scored by number 17, Brent Peterson. Assisted by his brother, number 15, Kyle Peterson. Time of the goal, 21 minutes, 44 seconds. That's Brent from Kyle Peterson at 21.44. Last minute of play in the period. You're welcome. Black team goal scored by number five, Travis Van Tegum. Assisted by number two, Bill Terry. Time of the goal, 24 minutes, 15 seconds. Van Tegum from Terry at 24.15. After one period, the cream team leads the black team 6-4. Stop into University Images to purchase your copy of Michigan Tech Hockey. 
100 Years of Memories. Proceeds from the book will benefit the Michigan Tech Hockey Program. Author Bill Sproul will be signing copies of the book tonight on the concourse. Be sure to check out page number 272.
In the first period, here are the goal scorers for the black team. Travis Van Tegum, Roger Moy, Michael Lichtig, and Jason Wright. For the cream team, two goals by Tanner Caro, two by Eric Jensen, and singles by Mike Hosworth and Brent Peterson. The score as we get ready for period number two, cream six, black four. Now in goal for the black team, student assistant coach for the Huskies, Jimmy Pietla. And now wearing the stripes and repping, student manager, Justin Norkel. Scoring for the black team, his second goal of the night, a cannonading slap shot by number 28, Jason Wright. Time of the goal, 26 seconds. Wright, his second of the night at 26 seconds. Thank you. 
Scoring for the black team, the game tying goal. Number eight, Tyler Shalast. Assisted by number 17, Michael Lichtig. Time of the goal, two minutes, 40 seconds. Shalast on the rebound from Lichtig at 2.40 of the second period. Fans, a reminder that early bird season tickets are on sale until August 15th. Stop into the STC Central Ticket Office or visit buyhuskiestickets.com to reserve your seats today. Early bird pricing ends on August 15th. After a challenge by the officials, it was determined that the play was offside Therefore, the apparent goal by Tyler Shalast is disallowed. No goal. Check out Rail 555, our premium seating location on the concourse. The number 555 is in honor of the wins accumulated by John McInnes as coach of the Huskies. Stop by the central ticket office for pricing options.
Scoring for the black team, number 15, Ray Bryce. Assisted by number eight, Tyler Shalast. Time of the goal, eight minutes, 30 seconds. Bryce from Shalast at 8.30. Scoring the hat trick goal, number 10, Tanner Carroll. Time of the goal, 11 minutes, 15 seconds. Carroll, his third of the night at, 10, at 11.15.
Fans, stop into University Images to purchase your copy of Michigan Tech Hockey, 100 Years of Memories. Proceeds from the book will benefit the Michigan Tech Hockey Program. Author Bill Sproul will be signing copies of the book tonight on the concourse. Pick up an extra copy. It makes a great Christmas gift. Scoring for the black team, his second goal tonight. Number 17, Michael Lichtig. Assisted by number 15, Ray Bryce. Time of the goal, 16 minutes, 50 seconds. Lichtig is second of the night from Bryce at 16.50. Your attention please now in goal for the cream team, number 30, Bob Mehaus.
Cream Team goal, his first of the night. Scored by number 15, Kyle Peterson. Assisted on the goal by number 10, Tanner Carroll. Time of the goal, 19 minutes, 24 seconds. Kyle Peterson from Tanner Carroll at 19.24. At this time, we ask that all Michigan Tech hockey alumni in the arena head down to the Michigan Tech bench and we'll be getting a group photo at the conclusion of the game. At this time, all Tech hockey alumni head down to the Michigan Tech bench, please. Scoring for the black team, number two, Bill Terry. Time of the goal, 21 minutes, 28 seconds. Terry with his first goal of the game at 21-28. Scoring for the black team, his third goal of the night, but the only the second one that is counted. Scored by number eight, Tyler Shalast. Time of the goal, 22 minutes, 29 seconds. Shalast, his second of the night. Last minute of play in the hockey game. Timeout called by the cream team. The last goal is fourth of the night. Scored by number 10, Tanner Carroll. Assisted by number 16, Mike Hosworth. Time of the goal, 23 minutes, 41 seconds. Again, a reminder, we ask that all Michigan Tech hockey alumni in the arena head down to the Michigan Tech bench for a group photo at the conclusion of tonight's game.
The cream team applying tremendous pressure with their goaltender pulled. They have a man advantage. Goal scored at 24.50, ties the game, the clock runs out, and we end up in a tie, 10-10. This is old time hockey fans, it ends in a tie. Let's hear it for a great group of Huskies who have come out to celebrate the 100th anniversary of Michigan Tech Husky Hockey. Fans, before the group photo, we ask that you direct your attention to the ice. At this time, we will invite Michigan Tech Athletic Director, Dr. Suzanne Sanregret to the ice for a special thank you. Darcy Way's involvement with Michigan Tech began back in 1978 when he joined the hockey team as a goaltender. Darcy is retiring from Michigan Tech after serving as an advancement officer, the director of athletic development, assistant hockey coach, and the director of alumni relations at various times in his career. We thank Darcy for his years of dedication to Michigan Tech, his great work organizing this reunion, getting former players back, and connecting with our alumni all over the world. He is definitely one of a kind, and it will be a very difficult task to replace Darcy Way. Please accept this jersey as a small token of our appreciation for your dedication and passion for Michigan Tech. Darcy Way! Players, please gather now for a team photo. This will be a very historic photo that is being taken, honoring the 100 years. Thank you to everyone for coming out tonight to support the Huskies. 
The puck drops on the 22-23 season with an exhibition game on Saturday, October 1st against Lake Superior State. We'll see you there. Have a good night. Drive home safe. And go Huskies! Celebrate.